Right, hello. So today I'm going to make a, a retro arcade gaming table. So this project probably took me about three or four weeks to do. Working it at the weekends and everything like that. The actual electronics of it is pretty straightforward, but the, the hardest bit really is is the is the carpentry or the or the, or the joinery, whatever you want to call it. Got a, a wooden piece to hide the screen here. As you can see, it's all rebated in. Um, and then you've also got um, the controls, which are hidden in behind and underneath another little recess there. Uh, and um, to get the screen up, just give it a push and unlock it. And up comes the screen. The video isn't going to be a short video. Um, and, uh, and also, if you think I've missed something, Put a comment in below and I will I will try my best to answer it. You've got some reasonable level of carpet or, or, or woodworking experience, you should be able to sort of sort of cobble your way, cobble your way through it a little bit. Right, anyway, enough of this. Let's get let's get into the action. So the first thing we're gonna make is we're gonna make the frame around the TV. We wanna rip down, rip down a piece with the saw with 80 mil. Set the saw up. With these mitres, they need to be quite strong. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some biscuits in the in the edges. So I'm going to use the round table. So as this this spins round, you put a slot in the uh, in the timber there. And what that'll do is by putting a slot in, you'll strengthen the joint when you glue it up. Right, it's all good apart from one joint. I'm just gonna, just gonna nip that. The upstand is vertical. We have to put a spline on the end. So we have to do that slightly differently. So I've got a jig for this and the jig um, use the router and you cut the spline at 45 degrees so you pop these timbers in here so what I'm going to do cut some little bits of timber They'll slot straight into that. The way I will glue these up is I'm going to use um, like a ratchet strap, or it, not even a ratchet strap, but just a just a, a roof strap. Um, put it round, pull it as tight as you can, and then if you need to close anything up, you can put a few blocks in, in underneath. Um, because it's got the splines in, it'll just hold it absolutely solid, so you don't need to faff about with like loads of clamps and stuff like that. So it's a piece of cake. So. This is a brace. Uh, if you want to glue things up and keep them square, put a brace on. Right, so next job, now we've got this, the frame in. So, so the way I see this is very similar to, to hanging a door. So this is the hinge side. So I'll get the hinge side to fit first and then I'll get the, I'll get the base to, and then I'll get the two sides. And then I also want to get the, the gap as thin as possible because I think it'll, if it's a wide gap, it'll detract. Planed it into the gap 
or into into the into the recess. Uh, but now what we've got to do is get a sort of equal equal gap all the way round. Uh, and you do that because otherwise the door, will, as you can hear, it's sort of snagging a little bit. So much like a, a normal door, just mark strike a line relative to the to the um, to the rebate line, um, and then plane that off. Too bad slight mistake but I'm putting a rebate in it so I'll never see that mistake in the main box we have routed um, a channel so I'll be able to put a cover piece over this and now I've, I've made a, a mock-up of the controller so I've got two player controller with eight buttons eight buttons each uh, and these are just a piece of timber with with holes in as you can see uh, and holes cut in for buttons underneath now these buttons they just come as a part of a set uh, you can get them off eBay or Amazon or something like that and for two of them I think it was about 25 quid or something like that but they're really easy to to wire up you wire up the joystick to a five pin connector and all the buttons connect to two pin connectors and then there's an uh, it, it converts that into the USB so then you've got a USB cable and you connect that to your Raspberry Pi so it couldn't be simpler and one and I'll, I'll go through the electronics later but once you get into the Raspberry Pi and you, you just you just map you just you just map the buttons to to the controls that you want and it, it, it's pretty straightforward so what I'm going to do, I, I put it all together because I wanted to just do some testing up, um, on, on my, my computer upstairs, uh, just check it was all working, it is, so now I'm going to take it all apart, uh, take all the bits off and then start fitting it into the table. For the setting out of the buttons, I haven't just guessed these, I've got um, a little a little um, file and I'll, I'll put that up in the video and it gives you the dims.
Big reveal times two. Oh, what could be in here? What? Oh no! It's a hit. You guys never would have guessed. Right, so as you can see, we've got the um, got the front panel, the cover panel for the controls. So you just take that off and you pop it back on. Uh, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna put it all back together and screw it back together, and then try and refit TV uh, and fit the uh, the gas fit the gas springs. I'm gonna put the, the gas struts on. So I'm gonna use. These gas struts, just some simple ones you get off eBay. Um, these are 100 Newton ones, they're, probably, they're the lightest ones they do. If you get really heavy ones, then it won't work because you won't be able to, it'll, it'll push it up and you won't be able to get it back down. So 100 Newtons is what I recommend unless you're going for something much bigger. I've got these threaded inserts. Come on, come on. Got these threaded inserts here. Which will be able to take the take the load from the gas struts. So I'm going to just drill those in now. I'm going to put a rebate in the top of here using the round table and then I've got three bits of timber that I'm going to join together then put a round in that and it'll just sit into it so let's crack on And that's how I joint boards. Let's pop a rebate into this. So obviously I'm going to take it apart, take the TV screen out, get it out and then we'll put it into, onto, the, onto that. And I'm going to use something called uh, a guide bit, or this, this bit is a guide and this will give me a rebate. So I think it's giving me about 5mm five by five or something like that, which is more than enough for this. Right, that's it for today. You can see we've got the we've got the little insert all cut out and rebated in. It just slots in there, as you can see. Bosh, slot. 
And now you can see it's just a little bit proud. So I'm going to plane this off. I'll probably because it's quite a bit. Then I'm going to power plane it. Um, I suppose just mark a little line around it. Start planing. Right, so for me, because we're going to burn it, that is sanded down enough. And it, I mean, it looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make it so I can press it and it'll flip up and I'll be able to pick it out. So what I need to do is put a bevel on this edge. Got it, nailed it. Made a minor adjustment. Um, when I was using the, the kitchen hinge or kitchen door hinges, they were starting to pull away. So I've decided to go for a piano hinge, which hopefully will resist the loads that are applied to it by the, um, by the gas struts. So the gas struts are applying a vertical load, but they're also applying a, a horizontal load and that's trying to pull the, pull the Pull the frame out of the, off the hinges, which the, the kitchen hinges weren't weren't doing it. Uh, so hopefully, this will. Right. Oh no, I'm really bored. Hmm, what shall I do? I know. I'm gonna play my retro gaming arcade table. some legs uh, and I'm just going to just make some angled legs that fit behind these corners uh, which look lovely right 